What is up guys, this is Love My Kicks with my final thoughts on the James Harden one right here. So make sure you guys like, comment if you have any questions and subscribe guys. Make sure you subscribe for further content and hit that like button. Any comments or questions, put them down below and I'll get back to you. So, but anyways, let's just get into the James Harden one. So first I wanna get into the upper. The upper is more so a jacquard mesh type material and it also has some overlays like that plastic overlay and high wear areas also in the asymmetrical lacing system so you make sure that it doesn't rip or tear when you're lacing anything up and also in the high wear areas when you're toe dragging or heel dragging or moving from side to side or even so it wasn't come undone from the boost so that's basically what your upper is it's heavily padded on the inside you also have that burrito type wrap like uh the crazy light boost from previous previous shoes not the recent one but i think the 2.5 or maybe the two i forgot which one that was so um it's kind of like that and other than that it feels really really great you have that leather on the toe box right here that actually keeps you contained or keeps your foot a little bit more contained than usual with me i didn't feel like it did i felt like it was like a back and forth thing so it could have been me could have been my socks could have been i don't know but that's just how i felt so now as far as the support system with that burrito wrap um system that you have as far as that one-to-one -one upper trying to get that one-to-one -one fit you have that supporting with the asymmetrical lacing system so once once you pull it to on the side, it wraps it around your foot, and then your foot is supposed to be locked in. Now, as far as the support right there, in the right here in the upper, when I did do that, I was locked in. I didn't have any issues. Sometimes it would be a little sliding. I don't know if it was the materials on the inside, because they are kind of like a silk type feel. I'm not really sure, but I know I had some slippage there, here and there, not from the heel area, but just from being inside the shoe, you know, moving lateral, things like that. So, now, as far as cushion... The cushion aspect, I have a love-hate relationship with Boost as well, depending on what day it is. I don't really feel like Boost gives you that bounce back like you see in the commercial with the ball because it's a little bit different. Um, thicker Boost, some boosters made differently than others. This is your thinnest Boost in a basketball shoe today, but you have the um, the Crazy Light Boost. That's actual more firmer Boost, but then you got the Hyper Explosive. This is more of a spongy Boost, which is really, really nice. I think that's probably like the best shoe they've actually used Boost for basketball in. That's awesome and the reason i like it is because it actually has less containment with the tpu area and actually when you actually push down you get a lot more bounce back than this one and the crazy light boost um now this one being the thinnest you do not have as much impact protection as you would want or you would need in my personal opinion i'm a guard and i probably weigh like 155 150 somewhere in there so and i'm real bouncing i still don't get enough impact protection off of this shoe I really feel like they should actually make it a little bit more bouncy or if they could have uncaged some of this but when you uncage some of this it really doesn't help because the thinnest boost is right here in the forefoot area so it's not really going to make that much of a difference boost definitely is a great thing for support cushion and things like that but i don't feel like it gives you that bounce back like zoom does you know or air zoom or bounce even bounce you know you actually feel that bounce back right away i feel like when it comes down to boost you feel it but it, it hits and absorbs and then it bounces back it's not an instant you know bounce back it's more of a absorption and then it bounces back so you don't get as much as you would want to or responsiveness as you should so but that's just my opinion about boost so let's move on to the traction now the traction was mapped out for James Harden's pressure points and where he needs the most traction in his game. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a great traction shoe. The shoe might not be my cup of tea, but for traction, and it is awesome. On clean courts, it is amazing. I'm talking about stop on the dime. But on dusty courts, you're going to have to do some wiping because you're going to be sliding depending on where you step or how you step. You're definitely going to do some wiping. And if you cannot get some of that dust out of those areas for wiping, you're definitely gonna have issues. So make sure you wipe really, really good. So overall, I would say like 9.5 out of 10 on the traction. So now let's just move straight to the sizing. The sizing, if you are a wide footer, just stay your normal size. Now, if you have a skinny foot, go down half a size. You're gonna go ha down half a size. So you're gonna need it. Now, wide footers, true to size. Small footers or skinny footers, go down half a size. So but overall, man, like it is a go-to shoe for me when I when I don't have my number one go-to shoe. This definitely isn't my rotation. This one, the Dame 3, and then the Hyperdunk 2016. So overall, guys, 
that's all I really have to say. Now, if I had to give this thing a rating on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this an 8 just because of the fact of how I have issues. But this is my personal opinion. It might be different for you. If you guys got any questions at all, like I said, make sure you comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and also hit that subscribe button. And this is Love My Kicks, man. I'm out. Peace.